works. You want me to grab that? Amazing. Fair play to El Dana. What Dana White's contender series. Yeah, it's a cool place, isn't it? Yeah, it's really, really cool, nice. Yeah. No, I was scrapping it myself. Yeah. <laughs> it's really cool. Yeah. Brilliant. It's not quite a Mystic Mac or even a Clairvoyant Cowboy, but he said he wants a head kick knockout in the fourth round. He wants it. He's not predicting it, so yeah. it's different. Do you respect that? He said he, a great fight to him is one that goes on for a bit and then you get the finish. Yeah, I'm not really interested in what, it, what he has to say, to be honest. You know, I like Donald, no, no ill will against Donald, but I'm going to put him away and I'm going to put him away smoothly. We all know how Donald and his wife will celebrate the fight, but uh, how will you celebrate if you win and what will you do if you lose? How will, how will Donald and his wife celebrate? Uh, so you said you, you know how. With the red paint. All oh, right, with the red paint. <laughs> Jesus, you're mad. <laughs> Yeah, they'll celebrate that win or lose anyway, do you know what I mean, so. <laughs> but I'll have a good night and a few sips and then, and then, and then spend the next day with my family and the kids and then just regroup and get back into training. Love it, brother, love it. There we go. Fighting somebody without that bad blood, you know, the process building up to the fight is something that is kind of relief. No, it's the same thing, a fight's a fight, I'm gonna get in there. Whether it's, whether it's bad blood or good blood, it's, it's blood, it's a fight. There we go. You know, so I'm excited to be back and excited to perform on Saturday night. This type, perfect. There you go. Nice. Love it. Perfect. You know, any type of travel day, I like to just, we call it, just get the trip out of you, you know, so. Come in, go over a few little drills and basically get the body moving, keep the metabolism going, you know, just get a little sweating. Hey, so here's Clint. Just you stretch out, warm up, get good and go, go five with her. Okay. Five with me, we'll kind of start on the feet and kind of get into it as we go down. And two rounds with J-Ho. I think it's a good matchup. You know, you got two very experienced fighters. So we're just looking to go in there and, and dominate every position, no matter where the fight goes. Oh, yeah, way to find your range. Raquel uh, has been putting all the extra work in. This week's just going to be about fine-tuning, perfecting, making sure that everything that we've been prepping for has no leaks in it. pressure to me is always just victory. I want to win and I want to make all the hard work worth something. So it's never really, if I'm co-main event, main event, undercard, the pressure's still on. I don't like walk in with actually like ill will in my heart. It's just, there is something that is just very satisfying and very um, fulfilling about getting in there and being in an actual real battle. Awesome, have a good one. Team Stadia, the first team this is all just the uh, Ultimate Fighter jerseys. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But I did see, oh, here's, another, here's John's. So many of these guys have been on our, our team. Like, so many. I mean, there's Rashad. It's always a fun time, these press conferences, the fans always enjoy it. It's good to get face to face with the opponent. It's a great part of the game, right? Another part of the McGregor show. Pleasure, baby. How's everything? Good, good, good. How are you? Good, good. Good, good. It's not been to any UFC event before. Oh, wow, you're going to enjoy this. This is a good one. This is the biggest one, the yeah. best one. So, good, man. good to have you, pal. Right? Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate the support.
Welcome to the UFC 246 press conference here inside the Pearl Theater at the Palms Casino Resort. Introducing first, Donald Cowboy Cerrone. And now, please welcome the notorious Connor McGregor. What's up, everybody? How are you today? Thanks for coming. We appreciate it. Who has the first question? Connor, I'm sure everybody here would appreciate uh, the Mystic Mac prediction of how exactly you get this thing done. I've had, I've had my back and forth with Donald throughout the years. Right? The last time we spoke to each other, I even saw each other, would have been at that press conference many years ago. And as time has gone on, it's hard not to respect Donald right now at this stage. And he has my respect. And, and although there will be blood spilled on January 18th, it will not be bad blood. And for the Mystic Mike prediction, it will be a KO. <laughs> and just one for me, Cal. Well, you keep saying, I keep hearing you say, I'm going to stand and trade. I'm going to give the fans the fight that they, they want to see. But can you tell us where jujitsu or grappling ranks somewhere in the game plan? Like, is it, is it plan B or is it is anywhere in there? You would be stupid to think this man doesn't have a wrestling defense or some kind of grappling defense so for me just to walk in and be like oh i'm gonna just take him down and submit him get a real life man we gotta go in there we gotta fight our asses off that's what's gotta happen that's one hell of a coat donald my god i gotta give credit where credit is due it's, you know what i mean i don't know whether you've outdone me i've got lions on the inside of my baby here you know what i mean but that's a damn good coat brother what is it now was it crocodile or no, it's, uh... Python. Python, good so man. Sure. But it's a good skin, but you know yourself. <laughs> Connor, you're a walking money machine. Everywhere you go, everyone's, we're all making more money because you're here. Every Dana's smiling ear to ear, right? I appreciate that. All this time, you've been that. making all this money for people, but you've talked about getting back to fighting. Can you just expound on that a little bit? Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. And, um, you know, sometimes you got to go to certain places in our life to, to realize what we need to do. And I certainly... I turned over a new leaf, you know. Although I, am I, I feel I'm still the same young man, but um, I definitely feel re-energized and refreshed. And thank you for noticing. I appreciate it, and I appreciate your acknowledgement of the revenue I bring. You're damn right. <laughs> and cowboy, for you, the lights, the glamour, everything associated with this fight—it's just got to be a lot of fun for you, right? Oh man, it's cool to finally uh, get what I deserve, man. It's cool. So uh, thank you, Connor. And you're right. You do bring the biggest paydays. You do bring the biggest eyes. So. Why not have Cowboy Donald? Welcome, with Donald. You? Welcome. You've heard it. You've heard that multi million dollar payday, and I'm delighted for you, bro. Yeah, seriously, truly. Uh, for Cowboy. Connor has said that you know, he can win this fight in any division. He can win this fight if he has a flu. Uh, what do you make of that confidence, and do you think maybe he's looking past you in any way? Right? No, I do not. Right? Because I'm coming. He knows it. He's coming. It's going to be, we're going to blow the roof off this place, you guys. You don't understand. I'm so excited for this fight. So excited. Thank you. And one for you, Connor. Um, what do you think is the most dangerous element of Cowboys game? I can read Donald like a children's book, to be honest. You know, he's a good, he's a good fighter. He's got some good tricks up his sleeve. But we are well prepared, and we'll see on the night. It's going to be a good night. Hopefully he's got some hooked on phonics. We'll see what's going on. I don't know. And for Cowboy, biggest challenge of your career or just one of many? Oh, man, yeah. He's the two-time uh, belt-holding champ, man, so... You could definitely say this is the, uh, to date, the toughest battle I've stepped in against. And I'm stoked, man, because this is a cowboy. Er, can you fight the big fight? You never make it on the big fight. Well, here's the biggest one. Let's see, huh? All right, everybody. Thanks for coming out today. We're going to get this stuff out of here. Square them off. We'll see you Saturday night.